scary issue for going cruising is provisioning, especially for women. Um, it can be uh, intimidating to walk into a boat and, you know, how can I store this? How can I do that? How is that going to hold up? How am I going to cook these meals? You know, there's not enough space. So I am here to help you through that. But another factor in what I'm doing is I'm on somebody else's boat. So I really don't know the area. I haven't had time to get used to it. I have no idea what they have. You don't want to have double... So I have to really go through the kitchen, which is not my space, it's somebody else's space, and figure out what they have. Welcome to season four of Lazy Gecko Sailing. First up, we're taking you aboard this lovely Antares 44i for a three week passage. Where do we even start? Provisioning, of course. Now you have to remember this is my first time provisioning for somebody else's boat. And I thought it would be really cool to walk you through it and show you. So we're gonna be out for two to three weeks, mostly on the shorter end of three weeks. So I went with uh, 16 days and I assumed uh, we will eat out here and there. So I gave 16 days of meals that I needed. So that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I asked the gentleman's boat that were aboard, what do you like, what do you not like, what can you have, what can you not have? He can't have spicy food. We love spicy food, so I kind of compromised. I chose meals that I could add spice into later. So I said, okay, well, these, this is my idea, and I've really got about five different breakfast and probably five different lunches, and then we'll kind of rotate it. And uh, that makes so you're not having the same thing every single day, you have choices and everybody likes it. So I did that for breakfast and lunch. And then for dinners, I literally have 16 different meals. So. What I did was I listed them all out and I come up and I write the ingredients to everything I need. And then say for two dinners, I'm, I'm using asparagus. So I'm like, okay, well I'll get two bundles of asparagus and I really get in there with the numbers and I'm really on point. Even with breakfast for eggs, well, how many eggs come in a package? You do that, you divide it by the number of people and you assume they eat two eggs each in the morning. And that's what I did. So I can come up with exact numbers. So we're not short and we're also not over because then you have to throw that food out if you can't find somebody to give it to. Now, I do know that things will go bad along the way. Probably not as quickly since it's cooler right now, but that does happen. So I also factor in that we'll have to stop and get more stuff if something like that happens. So I came up with a list under each meal of all the ingredients. And then I came onto our friend's boat and I completely ransacked his kitchen. And I'm sure it was hard for him to watch me do it. And it was a little uncomfortable for me to go through somebody else's space, especially because I know how territorial a kitchen can be because I am a major control freak when it comes to the kitchen. <laughs> Here's his spice rack. And I went through every little jar. And on my list, if he had something like garlic salt, I went to my list and I took it off my list. And that saves money and it saves space. I don't know what's more important in the cruising world, money or space. I think they're equally as important. I guess, I mean, you could sleep with your spices if you had to. So maybe money's more important to have in the cruising kitty. And then I went through like all his cookware. So he has everything that I need right down to peel. I'm sure he has a peeler. I just, I need to check on that. But I think we're all good and we, Went out today, we got all of our alcohol. Walking into the liquor store. Beer and liquor run. Definitely need a cart for this one. On the list. Two large bottles of vodka. Two of us are vodka drinkers. Three cases of a Michelob Ultra. One case of Coors Light. Two cases of Yingling. One large bottle of scotch. We all know who that's for. My wonderful husband. <laughs> Two boxes of Merlot, one box of Pinot Grigio, and one bottle of gin. Gin and Fresca's low calories, I love them. So that's on the list, ooh, vodka selection. Oh yes, boxed wine. This is the type of wine you like on a boat. Personal favorite, Boda Box. Wrong kind though. <laughs> they do not have Yingling Light in cans. <laughs> okay. 
They have regular. That's fine. Regular? I don't, I don't mind getting fat. I'm already there, so it's You don't want anything else? Corona light, just tingling is fine? No, I don't want anything. Okay. You can only have it here, so enjoy it. Well, I believe we are all set. Beer, multiple cases, top and bottom. Lots of good stuff there. Cigars were requested. I have no idea why. We don't smoke them. I guess it's just something they want to have fun with. I believe I found them. He told me all the way in the corner, four over. One, two, three, four, the light ones. Two of these, fabulous. I almost forgot them. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, uh, which ones? Yeah. yeah I'm good. What do you think? It's a little. It's $327 worth. Good luck. I picked it all out, so I'm going to leave you to have fun with this. And then we will put it all in the boat. Now, he has so much space that I'm not worried about it. You can check it out. I'm going to be a little nosy. Yeah. He has an amazingly big fridge. Obviously, it's not stocked now. Here's his freezer. Look at that freezer. And it goes all the way to the floor. So it's like already stacked a quarter full with salmon, which is amazing. So the galley is down on this one down there. And I am going to cook up a storm down there. Just going to Dunkin' Donuts, my man. Hi. Hey. Just got to West Marine, uh, picking up, making like a stop while the, our friend of ours is on his boat doing things like polishing his fuel, getting his water tanks looked at, and all that good stuff, getting ready for us. So we're going to West Marine to get last minute things. He would like us to look up a list of everything for the Coast Guard. We're going to get that, some more harnessed, um, definitely some stuff for Reese, and that's what we're doing. I need a couple things. So his boat is less than 65, but he needs some pyro signals. Go shopping for Jen. <laughs> Which is cool because we get to spend his money. We left the other West Marine after we picked up our water pump and headed over to this one, which is much larger. It'll have everything we need. The other one didn't have everything, so bigger is better. Come in. Three day and night. Flares, stress flag. He needs. He needed a whistle. We give him this pack of two. One for the dinghy. Child safety harness. Last one. Okay. So this wasn't at the last West Marine. These are amazing. Definitely a must for a child. We already have one for our boat. Our friend does not have one on his boat, but really, really important, and it's worth the money. And then you tether them in. So it's a little harness right there. It's kind of confusing, actually. It's not as easy as it looks.
here we go. We're all settled in and ready to start our journey. Well, we thought we were. What goes wrong first? Stay tuned. This episode was fueled by patrons. PayPal's, you're amazing. Thank you. See more fun on Vimeo.